Good morning, Stampers. It's another Love and Stamp Studio Tour, but this time I am coming to you not from my studio, but from my front hallway because we are starting that countdown to Christmas, only a few days left. And the thing that I want to show you today is a great way to showcase all the beautiful Christmas cards that you have been getting in the mail, the photos and the fond memories and all of those things. Morning, Tanya. Hey, Donna. So I thought that I would come to you from my front hall today because the front door is a metal, which makes it perfect for this project. So we're gonna use some Stampin' Up! supplies, um, but also some neodymium magnets. And can you see those? Here we go, they're tiny. Um, they are super duper strong. Um, and they are really terrific for this project because they will stick to your, uh, Stick to your metal surfaces, no problem. So you could also do this, <clears throat> excuse me, on your refrigerator. You could do this. Um, some people even have like a metal strip that they put up for um, hanging different kinds of things, organizing tools, stuff like that. So you could do it there too. Um, but I am going to show you, uh, let's see, I'll show you the Christmas cards first while we're uh, getting started here. So. These are some of the cards that I've gotten in the mail this season, and I thought it would be fun to share them. So this one's from Tammy Rundle, and uh, I love the sentiment on it. Friends make the season shine. And this mercury acetate um, paper, or mercury glass paper, um, can you see that? It's uh, actually, it was in last year's, one of last year's catalogs, but it's coming back. So it'll be available again starting January 5th or now if you um, demonstrate or pre-order. So, all right, and a beautiful snowflake card from Tanya. I love this. Tanya said she had to look up a different card design because she didn't want to send me one of the cards that I designed. So I love this one. Sorry, my dentist's office is calling. Um, and then this beautiful poinsettia card is from Trish Noyes. And I um, love the uh, gold twine or the gold um, cord on this, that just little bit of thread, so pretty. Hi, Debbie. This card is so my style. Um, this is Elise Cook's card, and it uses the, um, the red and green foil sheets, which are, if they're still available, they're on the year-end closeout, so this is a great time to grab those. And then just a really simple die cut, so elegant um, with craft card stock. This one uses a fun retro look, which you know I always love. This is Shelly Keith's card. Here we go. Hey Trish, did you see I just showed your card? <laughs> um, let's see, this one actually um, is from my friend Kathy Lader, and this one is a great way to use your um, note cards. These are stitched. Can you see how beautiful those are? Um, they are absolutely beautiful um, stitched dancers. This one is from Cindy Lambrecht, who I have known since I was in college. So thank you, Cindy. I love it. It's a great way to layer pieces together. Those layered circles are always fun. Um, this is from Joe Pyle, a beautiful Christmas card. This is the Christmas Roses paper. And this paper is still available in the online store too. So um, it has that awesome gold, uh, gold foil on the front of it. And oh, I gotta put my hands down because this card um, takes some two hands here. This is from Betsy Kreider in Pennsylvania. She's an amazing demonstrator on our Love and Samples team. And it opens this way and then it opens again this way. So there's a little um, note inside there, but beautiful. Um, and it wasn't super like necessarily Christmas, but I put it with my Christmas cards anyway because I want to show it off. So um, this is Carol Coral's. Co, 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 well, Carol K. <laughs> and I um, adore this one with the copper paper. So you can see that awesome shine and sparkle there. And yeah, it, it was a super cute front fold. Okay, this one also um, is a beautiful card. This is from Vicki Morris. And I love it. It's really, the simplicity is fabulous. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there you can see. Um, she put the um, embossing folder just on the panel, so that really helps it set off. And just that little pop of pink and the pretty silver glitter. This is a beautiful card from Lynn Struhl. Layered cardstock and designer series paper. This one is from Laura um, Burkett. She is an amazing Love and Samples demonstrator too. Oh, there we go. 
So pretty and way to showcase that snowflake splendor paper. Um, this card is made by Linda Yearsley, uber talented stamper. And I love the way she used the plaid in the background. And then she had um, the cutouts there, which you do by folding the cardstock in half and then you cut slits along the side. Maybe we'll have to show that sometime soon. Uh, Ramona Simpson showed that at one of our uh, recent demonstrator meetings, which I love because it's so much fun to get different ideas. And then, um, okay, the last card, I saved it in the envelope to show you. It's from Sue Van Wakeman because Sue had a really great idea. So sometimes when I send cards, um, here's her card, by the way, super cute. I love, love the combination of layers and panels. Um, but sometimes when I have like a rhinestone on a card like this, it gets really ripped up in the envelope. And so then it, it sometimes doesn't fare very well in the mail. Okay, so here is Sue's idea. Um, usually if I do a rhinestone card, I put a big sheet of cardstock in there with it so that it um, protects the back of the envelope and, and I always make sure my rhinestone's on the back side or the card's inserted so that the rhinestone's on the back side. Um, but Sue didn't need a whole sheet. She had this one rhinestone. So she put a slip of paper here and glued it to the inside of the envelope so that it would stay exactly where it needed to be to protect the envelope during mailing. Isn't that a great idea? So, woohoo, thanks Sue, I uh, had to share that one. Okay, so you guys ready to see our display project? So you have all these beautiful cards, you want to show them off, you don't, you know, you wanna enjoy them for the season. So what I'm gonna show you, this is the banner that's usually here. This came um, from Stampin' Up! on one of the Stampin' Up! incentive trips on a cruise a long time ago, and we have this hanging on our door all year, and then um, a little um, baptism banner that one of the kids made at a project. But I'm going to um, set that aside for now, and what I'm gonna do is take the Wonder of the Season ribbon. So it comes in two, um, two uh, ribbons to a pack, and sadly, this is all that's left of my gold cord, but it comes like this. And uh, you're gonna wanna look at the year and close out for this because both rolls of ribbon, I think it's 10 yards of both, maybe it's five of this, anyway. Um, it's like 450 for both rolls. So it's a really great time to grab this. And I am going to show you how I did this at the end. Um, but you're going to grab a, get these, um, a neodymium magnet. And these are a super strong, um, keep them far away from small people who might try to eat them um, or pets, it don't, yeah, don't rub them with things that smell good or anything. Um, Cause you really, they're, they're really, really strong. They'd be terrible if you ate them. So basically what I did was um, put the, uh, you have to squish them apart to get a single one off. Um, basically what I did was I put one magnet into the ribbon and folded the ribbon over and then just tied a piece of that string along, along the edge of it. So that's gonna get us started at the end so we have, <laughs> there we go, so we have a cute end to start with. So I'm gonna pop this up here on my door and I'll do it that way. I'm gonna bring, bring this across uh, here and I'm going to add another magnet here to um, kind of tack that down, okay? And then I'm gonna take my cards and I am going to start, now that I've showed you Sue's trick, I can separate her card from the envelope. <laughs> then I can start to string my cards up across the, um, across the way. Now, when we get to the end here, I'm gonna show you my um, trick for keeping them uh, keeping the ribbon from, from getting weird. Um, and you can see that like those cards are, you know um, from making cards that they're not lightweight, but they uh, hold really, really well. So, okay, I'm gonna grab another magnet. And if, if you're trying to figure out how to get these apart, first of all, it's easier to get them apart if you can break the, if they come in a long rod, you break the rod into pieces um, and then it's easier. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna squish them sideways so that they stack along each other um, and then it's easier to get two apart i don't remember physics very well but i'm pretty sure magnetic fields build on each other so if you can separate a couple from the pack you're better off and then i'm just going to take this and twist it once or twice here um, and let's see i guess i'll twist it twice and then i'm going to pop another magnet on here 
And the next magnet on here, let's see, I'll try not to turn it too much. There we go. So that that is going to hold our next row of cards. And then you just use any clips that you have on hand and you can um, clip up your next row of cards, okay? Now, if you find that your cards are unusually heavy, um, just go ahead and add two magnets at the end or add a magnet in the middle someplace to kind of hold things up as you go. Um, but then you uh, can go ahead and see your fun cards. Now, if you have a lot of slamming doors, this, um, you might need more magnets also, but uh, they usually come in a big pack um, from wherever you find them, so uh, I wouldn't worry about too much. Now, when you get to the end, I'll show you my, my end trick we'll come across here for one more. So I'm going to um, cut the end of my ribbon. I'll give it a festive tail. Oh, I guess I can't show you close up. So basically what I'm gonna do, it helps if you take a little bit of glue and put a little bit of glue on one side of your magnet. Seal Plus or Tear Tape work perfectly because they won't uh, penetrate the ribbon so you won't get uh, like a smudge from where the ribbon sits. And then when you get to the end, take your little bit of gold cord. So this one just came out perfectly um, for me at the end of the roll. And then just tie a little knot around um, the folded ribbon, fold it around the magnet and tie it on there so that you have that pretty end there to pop up and hold the rest of your banner. So then you can put the rest of your card. So fun idea, right? So uh, just a neat way to showcase your stuff. And you can do more of these or you can hang them, hang them different places. But I love having um, that chance to just sort of smile every time I see those cards when I pass by um, during the holidays. So thank you guys, everybody who sent cards. I really appreciate them. And uh, let's see, let me show you this really quickly in case you are looking for um, supplies. So the year-end closeout is an outstanding way to get these. Oh yes, um, Cindy says to use command strips for wooden doors. That is a really good idea too. We are huge command strip fans at our house and um, in fact, usually the banner that I have hanging in my studio, I have on little command strips that are hung on the cabinets in there. So that's an excellent suggestion. Um, okay, so if you're looking for year and closeout supplies, make sure um, that you're shopping with me at the top. The link in the video description will get you there. Um, but my name should show up there. If you're shopping in a mobile device, it might be at the very bottom instead. Um, but this is the thing that I wanted to show you, my sort of little snapshot trick. So the new store, which probably doesn't look new to most of you guys anymore, but the new store has all these options on the side for sorting. So once you get to the year-end closeout, you can actually click this um, little price button here. I know you can't see it. I'll tell you what it says. Um, it says zero to five dollars. And it will bring up all the things that are on the, um, the clearance there for zero to five dollars, which include the things that you will certainly want are our ribbons, um, these fun little uh, stars, which would be cute to tie into the ends of your bow, um, the winter frost embossing folder. If you don't have an embossing folder um, with snowflakes, this one is beautiful. Um, even if you do have one, this one's beautiful. And it's 375. So um, anyway, felt, the coffee cup carriers, little star and snowflake kind of embellishments, rhinestones. Um, these embossing folders are nice and they're the tiny ones. Um, these are the wrapped in texture embossing folders. They're the, when I say tiny, I mean narrow ones and they will fit through the new Stampin' Cotton emboss machine. So um, the little boss, you'll wanna check those out. Anyway, um, you guys can browse later if you're interested, but I wanted to share this, uh, I don't know, we'll call it a holiday hack for you as our countdown to Christmas gets closer. So thank you guys for uh, watching with me on a Monday morning and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 9.30. We'll be back in the studio, I'm pretty sure. So happy stamping and have a wonderful day. Bye guys.